I am ready for my close-up. Welcome back to my channel. This is MUA Mommy. For those who don't know, if you are new here, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I do upload new videos every Sundays and Thursdays. Today's video was inspired by this beautiful lady right here. Last video, I had a little contest. I wanted you guys to give me ideas of what kind of look to create with the Jeffree Star Morphe palette, and this was the idea I like best. Very red, green, fall leaves type thing. I'm definitely getting fall vibes from it. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. It is kind of a cut crease tutorial. Not so much in depth, but enough to where I hope that you guys want to recreate this look maybe. Also, don't forget about the huge giveaway that's going on over on my Twitter. Definitely check that out. And if you're interested in how I create this look, then keep on watching. First things first, I did start off with a peel off clay mask. This is just the Freeman's French Pink Clay Mask. This is pore clearing, skin soothing, and it's gonna help with a glowing complexion. A lot of words for a mask that was only six dollars so hopefully it helps i look like mrs doubtfire beauty is pain first impressions that definitely left my skin feeling nice and smooth i don't think it did any difference to my pores but my face does feel good so i'll probably use it a few more times and then see how i feel about it now the reason why i did do the mask is because i do want to make this a full glam look and have a nice full glam face skincare is most important if you are interested definitely go ahead and head on over there we are going to go ahead and get started with the glam beat I'm going to start with my brows. As usual, the stuff I've been using for my brows every time I do my makeup is just the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Pencil in dark brown. And that's what I use to outline my brows. And then I fill them in with the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in medium. I have been doing them a little bit differently, but it does take me a while. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. If you guys do want an updated brow tutorial, definitely let me know in the comments below. All right, so I am actually going to do my face first. So I'm going to do my primer foundation concealer, powder, contour, and blush, and then we'll do the eyes, and then after eyes, we'll go ahead and do the highlight, setting spray, lips, and all that stuff. For primer, I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer as per usual. To apply that primer, I use BH Cosmetics 137 brush. Next for foundation, I'm going to go in with Ulta Moisturizing Foundation Stick. This is shade Very Fair Cool. I've been really liking this. I like how it fills in my pores along with the Poreless Putty Primer. I think these two combined is a great base for the skin. It's been making my skin look very flawless lately. I've been having some really good skin days. So I'm just going to apply this all over the face and then blend it in with a damp beauty blender. The reason why I use this much is because it is buildable coverage, so if I just apply this much. To start with, it is a more medium full coverage kind of foundation, which is what I usually prefer. Next, I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. I use shade C1, and I am going to apply that to my under eyes right here, chin area, cupid's bow, bridge of the nose, in the middle of my forehead, and then on any spots that need a little extra coverage. I have a couple stress blemishes, and I'm going to go back in with the same beauty blender and blend that out. Alright, to set all of that, I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Star Setting Powder, and I use the translucent one. I'm going to take that on a JS2 brush, and I'm going to set everything we just did. I love this setting powder. It's super soft, super smooth, it doesn't dry out your skin, and it smells like cotton candy, which I love, but that could be the fat kid in me talking. So I just pour some into the lid here. I'd show you guys all of it, but honestly, knowing me, I'd end up dropping it everywhere. I did that once with my Fenty Beauty powder. It was a giant mess. <laughs> 
All right, now for contour and blush, I'm going to go in with my Cover FX Perfector Face Palette. I'm gonna use the contour in here. This is The contour is called Silhouette and the blush is Sublime. To apply my contour, I am gonna use a Morphe E4. And where I contour is my cheekbones, a little bit on my jawbone, my forehead, and a tiny bit on my nose. I don't contour my nose too, too heavily just because I do like how my nose is, but I do like to bring a little definition back to it. But also make sure you're tapping off the excess because you don't want it too heavy. I'm not a very heavy contour person like other people are. I just don't think it looks right on me. What I do is I apply it with this brush and then I go in and I blend everything out with a Morphe R2 brush. And then just blend that out with the big fluffy brush. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the blush. I'm gonna apply it with the Morphe E48 brush. I'm gonna blend it out on the cheeks where you usually apply blush, and then I blend it out even more with that same big fluffy brush. I just like everything to be blended out and very soft. All right, so now we can move on to eyes. I'm going to start by priming my eyelids using the MAC Paint Pot, and I use the Painterly. To apply it, I just use a Morphe M224 brush. I put a generous amount on the brush, and then I just pack it all over my eyelid. All right, so today's look is going to be a cut crease. I'm still not amazing at cut creases. I don't claim to be. I still do have a lot of work to do on them, but that's why I like to do them so much is so I can keep practicing and practicing and getting better and better at them. So it is going to be a pretty red and glitter green cut crease moment. This is the palette we'll be using today, the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. And then as I talk about each color I'm using, I will have it up on the screen so you guys know exactly which shade I am using. Let me go ahead and scoot you guys a little bit closer so you'll be able to see a little bit better what I'm doing. All right, so now that I have you guys closer, let's go ahead and beat our eyes to the gods. I'm going to start by setting the eye primer that we just lay down. And to do that, I'm going to go into the shade My. For our transition shade, I'm going to go into the color Mr. Diva, and I am going to blend that into the crease as the transition shade. Make sure to blend it outwards so it is really buffed, just right into here, very lightly. And don't worry about any mess or fallout that's made on the lid because we are going to be cleaning it up when we do the cut crease. Now I'm going to take the shade Boss Angela's. I'm going to blend it in like a cut crease line. So right along the crease, blending upwards, trying to avoid the lid area and smoking it out a bit. Again, don't worry about any mess that we make because we will be cleaning it up with concealer when we cut the crease. Notice how I'm kind of curving it this way so when we cut the crease, it'll be a really pretty shape. I'm going to go in and I am going to blend the top parts right here. Next, I'm going to take the Calabasas color and I'm going to deepen up the Boss Angelos color we just did by blending right on top of it, but trying to stay right in the crease, still leaving some of the Boss Angelos color on the top. I'm going to take the Boss Angeles shade again and make sure to heavily dust off the excess and blend to bring some of that rusted red back and making sure these two shades are blended together nicely. I'm going to go in with the shade Lynn and I am going to blend out the top so it's less harsh. I'm gonna go in into Calabasas and just lightly deepen up the crease some more because then after this, we're going to cut that crease. And I just wanna make sure that this line right here is a little bit darker. And then we'll be blending again. And just blend the two shades together. So now we are going to cut the crease, which is kind of the tricky part. So I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Concealer again, and I'm going to take the Morphe Jeffree Star JS11 brush, and we'll be cutting the crease. But before I do that, I do like to take a small Morphe M2501, and I like to put a little bit on this brush and make a small line where the cut crease is going to be, almost like tracing it, so I know exactly where I'll be cutting the crease. Just put a little bit of product on here and just make that cut 
crease line. Now because I do kind of have hooded eyes, I go above where my crease is. That way the colors and everything can still be seen. I have the basic line down. I'm going to do the same to the other eye and then we're going to go in fully with the concealer and clean everything up. And now we're going to go with that flat packing brush that I showed you guys. Put the concealer on it and finish cleaning up and carving out that crease. Looks like a mess now, but once it's fully carved out, that's when it fully comes together. Okay, so now that we have the cut crease laid down, we are going to want to set it. I am going to take that shade Lynn again, haha, <laughs> that rhymed, and set the concealer. So now, I want to take that Calabasas shade and deepen up that cut crease line and blend out before we pack the cut crease with other colors, because I really want to deepen up that red. And then we'll be blending Boss Angeles over it, and then we'll be blending the two together and outwards. And then we'll be going in with a slightly bigger fluffy brush and blending the two out again. And then I'm going to go in with that Lynn shade again and blend out the top. This is what we have so far. This eye always looks better than this eye for whatever reason. I don't know why. I guess I just have a predominant friggin' eye and I can't seem to control it. So now I'm going to take the Wake and Bake shade and I am going to pack it in the cut crease. I'm going to stop it right here because when I put the glitter over it, I want the wing to just be full glitter. because now we are going to go in with a glitter shade. I'm going to lightly blend the glitter on top of the green and then press it out here so it's like light glitter and then bam, beautiful glitter ring. And I'm gonna go in with the shade drive through and I'm going to blend it over the wake and bake color. I am having issues with this color. I haven't used it before, but I'm going to make it work. I promise, because I want this color to work. It's a really pretty color, so I'm going to take my finger and press it over that shade. Then I'm going to go in with a Wake and Bake shade again and blend it on top of that. I'm going to go into that drive through shade again, and I am going to wing it out. So where we have the remaining color, I'm going to pack that sparkly green drive through shade there. Now I'm going to take the Millions shade, and I'm going to put that in my inner corner to really bring out some extra glitter. Now I'm going to mix Calabasas and Mr. Diva on my lower lash line. So what I'm going to do is pack Calabasas in there and really smoke it out with the Mr. Diva shade. And I'm going to smoke that out with Mr. Diva. And then I'm going to dip into the shade 2 and I am going to highlight my brow bone. So now I'm going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner and I am going to create a winged liner from where the cut crease starts and then in. Make a really pretty winged liner. Okay, so I'm back. I went ahead and after I did my liner, I did my lashes and mascara. And the reason why I did that is because I had to do my liner over like five different times. Got really mad at myself, almost gave up, almost stopped this entire video. And that's just the cold hard truth. I hated myself there for a minute. Had a minor mental breakdown, but I'm fine now. The lashes and everything are on. The eyes are done. So let's go ahead and do some highlights. So I am going to go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics 24 Karat Skin Frost Pro Palette here. And I'm going to use the shade Sarcophagus, which is the one that's hit pan because that's still to this day my all-time favorite highlighter shade ever. And then I'm just going to take a smaller brush to do the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. All right, let's do some setting spray in lips, and then we'll be done. My new favorite setting spray, of course, is the Morphe Jeffree Star Strawberry Set and Refresh Mist. This stuff is absolutely amazing. And then today's lip scrub, I'm going to use my Candy Necklace Lip Scrub, which was the first lip scrub by Jeffree Star I had ever gotten. 
For lipstick, I am going to use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Floor Liquid Lipstick in shade Cherry Wet. This is like a really pretty, I don't know how to explain this. It's like a coral cherry color. It's just super pretty. This color has never ceased to amaze me. All right, my lips are done, but my creepy cat is just staring at me. What's up, Aphrodite? Turns out she just wants to play and she won't let me catch her. So never mind, my cat just played me. So this is finished look. As always, let me know how I did in the comments below. Did I exceed your expectations or was it not good enough? Always be honest and transparent with me. I do appreciate it. And to my contest winner, I do hope that I did you justice. I hope that this is kind of what you were looking for. If not, I still hope that you like it. Next video will be finally Mama Glam doing my makeup. So my mom will be doing my makeup. And then after that, I don't have much of anything planned. So always shoot me some videos video ideas. Remember to stay strong, stay beautiful, and love yourself always. Bye, fam fam.